Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play E's Memories of Cell Setup. Last time we started the Golden Door and we just did enough to get the Sunstone here. So now we're going to continue on and finish up this Golden Door. So go ahead and check your console and use your Outer Ring and go up one time on your Outer Ring. And this should get us to the Armageddon uh, piece of equipment for Kalilica. These three doors are full of penultimate equipment. The ultimate stuff is the stuff that you get from, um... Celray with the Sunstones. But here, just in case, you know, you want this stuff if you didn't get the Sunstones or whatever, it's there. So to me, as far as I'm concerned, it's completely useless, because I already got all the ultimate weapons. Now that we've gotten the Armageddon, go ahead and turn your inner ring one down and your outer ring one up. And that should take us to the next area. So, not only is this place filled to the brim with all these horrible passages and rotating things and all this other kind of mess that you gotta deal with, but there's also combat doors and even more consoles with more rings to deal with. Woohoo! What did I ever do to deserve this? I mean, it is just the worst. Anyway, these guys, kill them as fast as humanly possible. Just use your stun raid on them over and over and over again, um, because they will deal status ailments to you and you don't want to deal with it. And stun raid has a nice area of effect and it can kill them really, really quickly like you saw. Okay, so once we got that taken care of, that door is going to vanish, and one of these cubes is going to light up. As you can see, there are four cubes. That means that there's four combat doors that we have to deal with. At this point, I want to save. Like, this is just insane. Okay, so now here I want to take my inner ring, this one right here, and go up one. This should lead us to a treasure holding, um... What is it holding? Some black stones. Yeah, so let's go ahead and grab those. Not that I'm going to be forging anything, but eh, it's there. Might as well grab it. Okay. Now, next on my list of things to do, go ahead and you're going to take the middle one and go up two. Uh, there we go. Got the up two. The outer one down three. Perfect. Now that we've gotten that taken care of, let's head over this away. Kill this little asshole. Yeah, two stun raids is all you need in order to kill all these guys here at my level. It's fine. We can actually stun raid them from here. Man, that range is crazy. Anyway, this is going to lead us to this door. Yeah, we couldn't get that chest there, but that's fine. We'll get it later. Just grab the door for right now. Ah! They're different, but thankfully they're so close together that we can just stun raid them all to death. How nice and convenient for us. Perfect. Wow, what a joke. <laughs> okay, so that door is done. That means that another cube is done. That means that only have two more doors left to take care of. Thank God. So, before we start dealing with this one, let's go ahead and save again. And let's see. Now I want to take the outer ring and move it down one time. And that should allow us over here to get this treasure. Awesome, get some starlight stones. And back to our console. Now, you want to take the outer ring and move it up one the middle ring up three, and the inner ring down two. Okay, so let's follow our path, and... Oh, can't go that way. Okay, so let's follow our path, and see where we're going. Hopefully we go to where I need to. I really don't feel like screwing this up. Yeah, it's quite the long path, but it is what it is. Die! Yeah. 
And just like we get some penultimate uh, weapons in here, you also get the same thing with armor. That is women only armor. If you want it, equipped it, I don't. So yeah, just completely ignore it if you're me. Back to the console. So we got the Valkyrie dress. So the next thing that we want to do is take our middle ring and move it one, two, down. Okay. Back to the hope and pray method that I did this correctly. <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, trails in the mud. Not trails in the sky, but trails in the mud. Okay. Can I not go on that path? How unusual. But here we're at the final door, but we can't open it, unfortunately. However, we're at another console. Here, take the inner ring, go up three. Then take the middle, down one. And then the outer, up one. Okay, so now this should take us where we want to go. Hopefully. Please, for the love of God! I mean, I didn't actually save before doing that console, but hopefully it will take me there. Oh. Wait! Why are you running away from me? Stay close by so I can stun rage you all to death. Don't you guys know the rules? Oh, you're still alive? Seriously? Oh. Eh. Oh well. Well, that was enormously easy. That battlefield looked familiar. Okay, one more door to go. Oh, let's see what's on. Get out of my way! Let's see what's over here. Huh, there's where that door is, but I can't seem to get to it. Huh. I wonder if I could just follow this path and it will take me there. I mean, this path is kind of winding me all over the place. Oh, it's taking me all the way back here? Seriously? Oh. Oh, did I not do this correctly? Oh my god, this is just the worst. Let's go back to that console and then let me consult my guide to see what I screwed up. This is just ridiculous. Can I? No, okay, I can't. I wonder if I have to go on the... Hold on. Okay, I figured it out. So what we want to do is go to this panel and then move the innermost one up one right there. Holy mother of God! And I thought that that underwater dungeon was the worst one in this game. Holy crap! This door really gives it a run for its money. This is insane! Anyway, we finally made it to the final door. So let's go ahead. Whoa, spiders! Oh no! I don't like spiders! Holy crap! Yeah, just. Kill them the same way that you've killing killing everything else with multiple stun raids, and you'll be fine. Whee! That guide on game FAQs must be wrong, because I was following it to the letter as far as getting through this place. Normally, I would just kind of glance at it, but to get through this place, yeah, like, it was, I was following it to the T, and it didn't say anything about having to move that last disc again. It was, it just said, you know, you move, um, all that stuff, and, and then, um, you'd be able to go to both doors without having to move anything else. So I was like, okay, and then I tried it, and... I didn't do it. Sorry. Hate to say it. Anyway, let's head on back over here. And now we should be able to make it on through to the uh, final area. Ooh, treasure! Eh. Penult uh, penultimate sword for... Uh, oh, I guess it's not for him. It's for Frida. Urgh. Get over there! Oh, who's it for? No. No. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, it's for Ozma. Whatever. 
Yeah, like I'm ever gonna show that again. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll be the last time that you see me scrolling through the equipment screen because I pretty much have everybody equipped with what I want them to have equipped. Like that hero ring. And now we get to see what Edol can do with that hero ring and how it changes up his soul breaker as he slaughters every boss in his path. Whoa. Yikes. Bullagol, the Golden Colossus, for boss time. Okay, let's head on over there, and let's use some stun raids, and but let's also try our new Arc Strike. Bam! Did you see how much damage that did? That like halved his HP. Holy crap! He couldn't do anything. Man, what a joke. Awesome. Oh. Those must be the uh, teleporters or something. I guess. Well, let's head on down there and uh, find out exactly what it is. I mean, yeah, I just used my um my limit break and look at my extra gauge. It's already halfway full. Like that's crazy town right there. Let's go ahead and heal on up, and we have some time. We can go inside the uh, middle door here. So what god awful puzzles await us? Ugh, I can't wait. Okay, we've made it to the uh, silver area here, and I've got to say, I actually like the puzzles in this place. Yeah, there's a good way to do puzzles and a bad way to do puzzles, and that golden door was definitely the bad way to do puzzles. But this place, it's fun, it's nice, it's easy, it's intuitive, I know what to do. Go over here, you get the wind crest. Like, you should have seen my notes for the golden door. It took up over a page just for that golden door. Here, I have, like, I think three things written down because it's just so intuitive, easy to do. You grab the wind crest. You raise it over here on the little crystal. It's going to cause wind to blow. How self-explanatory! Ha! Huh, what a concept! How nice! Oh, yeah, those guys attached to the floor, screw them. They are those living weapons that you need to use finishing moves on. I don't feel like dealing with them, to be perfectly honest with you. Oh, but look at this. We have the wind crest going, so there is gale force winds over there, and we can't go that way. I wonder what we have to do. Yeah, this, good puzzles. Golden door, bad puzzles. Well, let's go ahead and take this windy path up here. Yikes! Screw you guys! You're living weapons, and I'm not dealing with you! Ugh, these guys are annoying, too. They push you all over the place. Die! You dead yet? Die! Okay. I don't even know why they bother with these lock chests. Like, we know that we have Durin in the... Seriously? You're all the way down here? <laughs> like, what are you doing all the way down there? <laughs> Anyway, here we get another hero's ring. That's very nice. Um, although I'm never really gonna be using anybody else's, um, you know, limit break or anything, but it's there in case you want to. Okay, and what do we have over here? Oh, healing tablet. And an Elysium. That is a penultimate weapon for Frida. Very, very nice. Okay, so what I want to do now is hold up the wind crest again because we had those gale force winds It is now time to stop those gale force winds so we can go on back to that I don't know room It's not really a room circle whatever it is that you want to call it We can go back there now and get the treasure that's being held here 
which is the Rain Crest. And yeah, again, self-explanatory. I wonder what the Rain Crest does. Hmm. Well, there was that water that we passed by earlier that we couldn't get by because it wasn't uh, deep enough. Now that we have the Rain Crest, I wonder if we can swim across the pool. Oh, looky there! We can! Good puzzles and bad puzzles. There is a difference, people. A big difference. Okay, let's see. Just, yeah, let's just start off with a stun raid. Don't even know what's in there, but we're gonna stun raid anyway. Or we could just bypass them entirely. That works for me. Okay, here. Let's see what we got going on. What's down this way? Huh. Ooh, a Valkyrie dress. Awesome. Again, some armor if you want it for women. I don't. Die! You and your Xeno gears getting in the way of my true treasure. I just can't have that. Grab a healing tablet and an amethyst. Okay. So we've gone the bottom path. Let's go the top path now. So we still have the rain going on, but there's nothing really blocking us there. Oh look! Huh. Looks like we need the wind uh, crest in order to go that way. And there's some ice over here that we can't get through. We probably need a fire crest or something to um, deal with that ice. So let's go ahead and hold up our wind crest. That will at least allow us to go up this other passageway over here. Also notice, you don't have to backtrack all that much to get to these areas that are blocked off. It's so nice! This is how you do it, people. This is how you, like, okay, this is kind of strange because you got, like, the master class in dungeon design, this place, and I just went through one of the worst dungeons in existence, the Golden Door, so, yeah. Okay, anyway, we got the Sun Crest, and something tells me the Sun Crest is going to melt the ice. Well, perfect! Who knew? Oh, and the Sun Crest is also going to get rid of any water blocking our path as well. Thank you, game, for letting me know that. How convenient and nice of you. Oh. Aw. Urgh! Get over here! Die! I feel like Adol does all the heavy lifting. Like, my partners should have been attacking him whenever he was attacking me, but they just let him go after me. Like, what is that? Ooh, stun raid killing them both. Uh, looks like I need the Wind Crest for that. Let's just continue right along. And what do we have over here? Ooh, more treasures! Joy! Okay, ultimate healing and a hero's cloak. I think the hero's cloak, what does that do? Just want to double check on that one. That one looks different. I think I've seen it in... Oh, okay. Power depends on enemies to... Oh, plus 23! Damn. That's better than any kind of power ring I have going on here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and give it to you. Uh, where is that hero's cloak? There we go. Yeah, I, get, I guess I've defeated a ton of enemies. So, that's kind of nice. Okay, so let's see. Let's continue exploring before we have to... Okay, so here we have a blocked off area. We could do the rain crest there, but we also have a wind passageway that we have to do. So let's do the wind passage first. Then we'll come back and we'll do the rain passage after that. I just like doing backtracking stuff first before we actually, you know, move on. It just seems to make the most sense to me. Ooh! Golden treasure! Die! Hey, some saintly robes. Awesome. Why are those in a golden treasure, though? That's kind of strange. Yeah, because it's worse than what we already have. I guess it's decent penultimate armor, but I don't need it for what I'm doing. Okay, so we've done the wind, um... Thing that we need. Grr! Get out of my way! I just killed you guys and you keep on respawning. 
So now we have um, some water that we need to raise the level of, so let's go ahead and use our Rain Crest. Oh, that's right, that's gonna make that rain appear there as well. And we don't really want the rain there, do we? Because it looks like that's a passageway that we need to use our Gale Shoes on, so... We've got to get a, we've got to get rid of that rain somehow. Most more than likely using our um, our sun crest. Die! I'm frozen. Seriously. Ugh. So yeah, if you go over here, this is where the rain is. We got to get rid of that rain. So, wow. So much for like, so much for like flash move. I can't move anywhere because I'm getting sucked in so much. Oh good, Adol's back. Perfect. Screw you. And here, what we want to do now is descend on this elevator. So this will allow us to go back to the start if you wanted to leave for whatever reason. I don't know why you would ever want to leave, but okay. More importantly, though, it's going to bring us back to the first um, one of these crystal contraptions. And I want to do the sun crest so that I can get rid of the water over there by the, um, by the little... Gale shoe thing. Unfortunately, yeah, gotta use those stupid boots again. I hate, hate the controls on those Gale boots. They are so, so beyond terrible. And let's go ahead and use our finishing blow on this guy. Die! And let's also stun raid the crap out of these Xeno Gears as well. Bam! Okay. Now that I've gotten that taken care of, let's see Gale Shoes. Let's give it a shot. Come on, run it or run, 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 run! Run, Forest, run! Sweet! I made it. Who knew? And we get Judgment, the penultimate weapon for Karna. And I'm still hitting the wrong buttons constantly. Okay, but with that, we've completed the silver door. These two doors are like night and day. One is really fun to go through and very intuitive. The other one is just an effort and frustration. It's just awful. Oh, another golem. Let me guess, the silver golem? The silver colossus. Zeravutz? I don't know. I can't pronounce anything, viewers. I, I think at this point we're all aware of my pronunciation skills and how terrible they are. Anyway, Ark strike the Evil Eleven crap out of this guy. Unfortunately, my party members are not attacking him because they're completely useless. What is wrong with my party members? They have, like, issues just doing anything. Man! Anyway, we got him stunned, so let's just stun raid him, and boom, done the end. Bitch is dead. Wow, what a joke. They don't even have, like, two bars of HP. They just got the one. Wow. Like, you would think here at the end of the game in the final dungeon that they at least give the bosses two bars of HP, but... No. Okay. So... We've had a horrid, horrid dungeon. We've had a nice dungeon. Now we have one more dungeon left. Will it be good or will it be bad? Find out next time and let's play Ease Memories of Salsetta. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.